G'day guys, welcome back to another video of Westland Survival. How are we doing? I hope you guys are well. So what I want to do today is I want to go into the Spirit Cave. So it's not just any sort of um, Spirit Cave run, but it is a little experiment that I want to sort of conduct and just to see how we can, you know, sort of clear the zone with the setup that I'm going to go ahead with. But before I do that, just sort of let you guys quickly know that both of those Southern AI bases are now disappeared. And if we want to go into um, a new um, uh, AI base, then we have to consult the uh, the merchant in the saloon. So I figured I'd just sort of let you guys know in advance before, you know, we sort of get underway. Just off the back of the previous video, I did get everything that I really wanted to get out of that base. So I did extremely well with that. And yeah, so completely satisfied with that all around. But um, for today's video, if we jump into the um, the old inventory here, I've got another set of armor. I've got some heals. This I'm going to try and leave alone as best as I can throughout the video. But I want to sort of use the uh, the Remington. Now the reason why that I've sort of gone with the Remington today is a couple of reasons. One, it is um, easier to make than the uh, Lama, to be honest and um, also it does offer a um, decent amount of um, power to speed attack ratio so I feel like this should be a decent weapon but with uh, with all that sort of being done for everyone else that may not be on a similar game stage to myself that might be a little bit weaker than myself it may or may not be as um, I guess the in the sort of same line of things you might be um, you know at a different stage to what I am even for some more the uh, advanced players that you guys might be um, at a different uh, game stage or level or look, the it's more or less I just want to see today how we sort of um, go with you know using the Remington really just as, as a as a pure uh, curiosity um, a lot of people, you know, use the, the Lamart in here, which is really, um, obviously the ob obvious choice that you'd want to use when you're, you know, sort of in the zone here, but I figured let's use, um, some weaker weapons and see how we sort of do with that, because, I mean, not everyone can, let's face it, make the, uh, the Lamart. So, I, th I think it's just something that, you know, a lot of people would really want to see, and I guess this is probably the reason why that I'm making, you know, today's video. I had, I had someone ask me about this, um, in a previous video a little while back, so I figured, you know what, let's go ahead and do it. I'm not going to predominantly loot everything, I just really want to loot the main areas, but, and, um, and where all the mini bosses are located that I have to get through as a part of the, uh, Spirit Cave requirement. So I'm not going to do all waves today. I figured I'd just do the first cave, see how we go with that. And if you guys are enjoying it, I might end up making a, um, a follow-up video with the second um, uh, Spirit Cave, or possibly third, who knows. But let's see how this one goes first. And based on what you guys um, provide to me as feedback in the comment section, which I really want you guys to comment below in this video, what type of combinations should I be doing or what are you guys most interested in seeing? So for today's video, I'm going to go with this. I feel like this is probably a good balance um, of what I've brought in. So again, if you guys have another combination or want, to, want me to use a slightly different combo, let me know because I'll be really interested in um, knowing what you guys have to say. So I figured that I, did, I wouldn't have lasted that long with um, uh, the clothes that I had beforehand so this is why I brought this along yes it does require some minor steel parts not a great deal and so I sort of chose this on that sort of basis alone and I was thought about using you know some slightly um, lesser clothing equipment but let's see how we go with this anyway and if I feel like it's too easy then I'll switch switch it up use some weaker clothing and see how that sort of um, you know uh, works out for me so, so far, right now, I'm actually using the dueling pistol, which right now is actually holding up quite well. So, something um, to actually to note. So, if I can go past with the dueling pistol for the most part, then I would imagine that the dueling pistol will be a really good weapon to use whilst you're, you know, um, getting rid of the lesser enemies. Like, the ghost may give you a bit of a problem here or there, but I think, you know, every time that he hits you which is only one only at this stage 
isn't too bad. The acre is I can get in two shots, which is great. So I would suspect that the Remington will be a lot better um, than what the dueling pistol is offering to me right now as a um, uh, as a source of firepower. So let's just go up here real quick, just make sure that we're in the clear, which we are. Um, if I, I believe, if I'm not mistaken, here there should be a mini boss. So let's go ahead and clear out these guys first, because I'll be interested to know how the um, the mini bosses will react um, with the current setup as is with the dueling pistol. So we'll see how that sort of gets on. Should have enough to take him out. Now, uh, quick disclaimer: since the new update, I haven't been down in the spirit cave, so I'll be interested to see how some of these mini bosses react and everything else in between and I can only sort of judge this from the southern um, zones how quick they were um, in those zones so we'll see how we go with that anyway all right so here we go so this is a uh, uh, Sinova Sinoka I can't even pronounce his name but to be honest the dueling pistol didn't do too badly actually didn't do too badly at all so I'm actually quite happy with how that had sort of panned out which yes to me that that took me by surprise only got me a couple of times so really not too bad to be honest with you so I'm just gonna grab some of the important stuff that I really want to sort of take out from this um, I might find some clothing along the way that I'll take with me just in case if the clothing that I have here breaks I, I, I doubt for the first um, cave itself but We'll, um, we'll see how we go with that. What is that? That should be iron, uh, just weapons, parts. Okay, fair enough. Um, I'm not gonna worry about this at all. Um, let's see what this one had here. Okay, grab that, perfect. All right, so let's move on. Um, yeah, so, so far so good. What I might end up doing is, I might just eat some of that. I'll grab one of these guys here just in case. So as soon as this dueling pistol break, I'll jump over to the Remington and sort of continue from there. And to be perfectly honest with you, um, I probably should have gone with dueling pistols. I think this probably would have been a better video for that. But um, just as a sort of added backup, this will actually do a lot better. So, and this will obviously uh, prevent you guys from spending steel um, to craft other you know steel natured weapons whether it, it'll be the uh, the Lamont or or possibly uh, another weapon so if we quickly sort of go into um, here and sort of just jump down because I should have most of these down here listed if not all uh, so we've got the Remington here Probably should have done with the should have done okay with the dueling pistol because it doesn't really cost that. Um, it's actually really cheap to make compared to something like the Remington. So bear that in mind, guys, if you are going to sort of plan to do something like this. Um, but the Colt Walker was probably something I was going to look at. The Peacemaker is one of those weapons that you find via blueprints. Now, again, this is another um, debatable question as well. Now that we've got blueprints available and we can uncover new weapons and things like that, it's obviously going to be a bigger point of difference compared to someone that hasn't gone through the blueprint system and found some of these newer weapons. So bear that in mind. Colt Walker is probably one that you probably want to look at as another alternative. But again, I say that you go back to the Remington, which I've already got here, and it's actually stronger but again it's actually maxed out because it is five star whereas the the cult here is only two star so again and then you've got the peacemaker which is only a one star and then the Lamarck what I've got here which is three star just to sort of give you guys a bit of an understanding so yeah but for the most part the dueling pistol which I think is actually a, not a bad weapon to use let's just quickly go over the uh, the dueling pistol where uh, we I should have done this beforehand but that's okay now that was sort of here so I've got that fully modded okay so that's level five as best as I can I found all the blueprints necessary for it. I don't believe there's anything else that I can sort of grab from that um, or, or increase it by any means so if there is let me know in the comments because I'll be interested to know uh, your opinion with it but as far as from what we can see I mean, the, the Remington here is a solid piece of machinery here, so you're not going to be um, um, 
at, at any sort of disadvantage with this weapon. So, to be honest, I reckon it's a little bit overpowered for the Spirit Cave, personally, at, at the state that I have it in. Now, again, this comes back to where you guys are at with your blueprints, um, you know, finding and everything else. So, do take that into consideration when I'm sort of doing, you know, this as a bit of a... Um, Bit, bit, bit of a discussion piece really at the end of the day so hopefully you guys sort of appreciate it get some ideas for yourselves as well like I said let me know about any sort of um, combinations that you want me to sort of try out and then, then at least this way I can sort of give it a crack and um, take it from there uh, let's just drop that in there for the minute let's just go ahead and eat some of that which we should be all right now and I'm just gonna go as I said open up the main chest um, and then we'll sort of move, plow on and go into the second half of this uh, spirit cave. It's taking a while to open actually. Uh, beautiful, so I'll grab some of that and that. This soul will leave behind. To be honest, this game at the moment is more um, set up for success if you're going to use, you know, guns, to be honest. So. Uh, melee weapons, there are certain melee weapons that you can use that'll be effective just as mu much as guns but you do have a higher risk of getting um, damage to not only a player but also your clothing durability and then in turn of that you do use a little bit more heals again in my opinion that's where I sort of feel like where that's at and I feel like you know using a ranged weapon like a, um, a gun sort of you know is more of a convenience to me and you know not necessarily cheating but more to um, to avoid as much as um, as damage as I possibly can and that will basically prevent me using things like heels and things like that and losing out of my clothing uh, durability as well so yeah all these sort of things come into sort of decision making as well especially with how you sort of want to set yourself up when you're in zone and you're basically just spending resources just to run a zone and you, you sort of start weighing up the um, you know is it viable for you to run these zones as opposed to you know not doing them at all and just avoiding them and doing something else um, all right let's quickly see what that is that's nothing that I really want but I will take that and that and I'll obviously take that uh, I'll take that with me anyway so again these small things I'll probably leave for now as I'm sort of running along uh, go ahead and see what this one here is all about. Uh, let's see what we got here. Nothing interesting. To be honest, I'm actually making good timing on this um, on this run here. So let's um, just plow our way through here with these guys as they are. Um, and I might be able to actually do Spirit Cave too. So we'll see. We'll see how far we get along. Might be a slightly longer video, but we'll see how we sort of, you know, settle ourselves as we're sort of going through. But yeah, guys, as I mentioned, um, let me know in the comments what you think about this. You know, am I using some? Am I using the right combination? Am I use? Could I be using something else a little bit differently? Possibly a little bit more economical. Um, so yeah, let me know because I really want to show um, everyone else what would be a, a suitable economical way to run the spirit cave because let's face it you, you're either going to for a lot of people you're either going to come in um heavy hitting or you're going to come in um you know under prepared or somewhere in between but i really want to find that fine point where you can actually get yourselves at a point where you can confidently run through the, this zone here and you know not have too much of an issue so I'm just gonna let him quickly there we go let's just do a quick hot swap there and just avoid any sort of um, attack from him which quite easily made it through without a problem so I think from this standpoint here I think we'll probably go ahead and jump into the second spirit cave so I'll, I'll do half of it um, for this video and we'll see how we go uh, for the next two if I decide to do the, um, the uh, case three and four so again I'm just gonna grab the things that I deem that I really want otherwise I'm just gonna leave everything here for now and then we'll probably jump into the next wave uh, cave sorry I should say 
Um, I'm also thinking of another version of running the spirit caves. Because there's four caves, it does take a while. So, you know, I'm gonna, I might do a um, all out assault and see how we, you know, see how long it takes. So let's say we, we do some sort of speed run. And I might use the the SN uh, the SNW model. Uh, I think it's the model two that I have. I think or the model one, one of the two. Anyway, um, and I might just have some pretty decent armor to sort of take along with me as well. So yeah, I might actually think and consider doing something like that as a um, alternative. So again, once more, let me know in the comments if you guys would be interested in uh, in watching that as well so that that might be actually a fun one to do or i might do a um a, a complete hard mode with those uh, with that gun and see how how far i can get through you know um the spirit cave but possibly in a timely manner as well so yeah again let me know in the comments what you think about that so all these ideas that i'm sort of tossing about just for you know content related as well just to see how you guys sort of react to certain things that I do um, within the game, so I think that might be a good way of, you know, um, showing you guys flexing on certain weapons uh, as well. So, yeah, I mean, look, some some people may enjoy it, other people may not, because you know, you, you do have the weapons, they may not. Um, so, yeah, I mean, let me know in the comments. I'll be interested to hear your thoughts about that. So. We'll, we'll see how we do with that anyway. So this was the dead end of which, like I said, it's been a while since I've been in the spirit cave. I, I really didn't have much of a need to um, enter the spirit cave. And purely because I'm just farming for basic resources so I can, you know, set my base up for, you know, for uh, the next stage of its evolution. So yeah, I'm just sort of going through the motions, um, you know, in respect to that. Um, but, you know, let me know in the comments, what do you guys commonly or typically come into the Spirit Cave for? Um, what is it that you guys are really wanting to find um, as, a, as a goal? So, I really want to hear your thoughts about that. So, yeah, if you can let me know in the comments, I'll be interested to know. Um, has it changed, you know, since the introduction of the Spirit Cave? You know, is it something um, different that you like about going to the Spirit Cave? Is it, um, is it the challenge? Is it... Um, is it certain loot? Is it what, whatever it might be? Uh, let me know. I'll be interested to know. So let's take down this uh, piazza here, which again wasn't too much of an issue for me. And to be honest, I've barely touched heels at this stage. And again, this is probably just a testament to um, a combination of things. Obviously, the, uh, the weapon that I'm using um, and the stakes that I'm using at the moment are, uh, you know, obviously a hundred HP, uh, HP heal, and the clothing at the moment I've only gone through about a quarter of the way. And to be honest, the um, the other clothing that I was wearing was just hanging on by threads. If, if we're perfectly being honest with each other here, so uh, at least a good quarter so far that I've utilised of the uh, durability of the clothing. So yeah, I think this this setup is probably a little bit too overpowered at the moment. This probably be a better serving if I were to uh, activate a hard mode. So I might actually consider this uh, this exact setup for uh, hard mode usability. So again, let me know your thoughts if I should go down that pathway with hard mode and just using what I'm using right now as a, um, as a setup basically. So yeah, like I said, blasting through this, not an issue, accessing all areas at the moment. So don't have a problem in um, taking out these guys so let's advance through and move on to the next part which I believe is up here if I've missed anything let me know in the comments guys if I'm going through this um, and I may have missed uh, something out potentially I'll be um, again very helpful for me just so I know where things are at as well but let's just continue blasting through these things Again, really no match for the Remington, no, nothing of the sort. So the uh, Sunoco again, let's just take him out here and there, boom. Uh, take these little bits and pieces here. I really should be um, grabbing these things as well, but I might just do this 
you know, in my own time when I got a bit of town time as it is anyway. So, but I should I should be doing it. Honestly, I should be doing it because it's it just saves me time to um, you know come back and actually raid the, the whole place again, kind of thing. So, yes, I agree. I should probably be doing it, but um, you know. You don't always think about these things. You always think about your, your constraints, um, timing and everything else in between. So yeah, it is what it is. Especially when you don't want to make a video that's obviously going to drag too long or anything like that. Let's just punch him. There we go. So we're on to the third one. So, so far, you can probably get through away, get away with maybe three Remingtons, maybe. Maybe just get yourself onto the fourth because I did have a considerable amount of uh, dur durability on the dueling pistols as they were so yeah I think that might be the way to do it if you were to sort of use this you know as a setup if you've got the resources obviously by all means at the end of the day I'm not gonna tell you how you should be running these um, these certain zones or anything like that or what you should be setting yourself up with so you know we, we, we've got to be honest with it we've got to we've got to make sure that we are doing what we care for ourselves and you know obviously if you've got the resources to spend you go ahead and spend them if they're obviously in your um, in your ability to do so if not then you got to make that call you know is it is it worth your while do you want to do this yes or no and then basically you obviously take it from there after but I'll just go ahead and open up some of the things that he was protecting um, and I might heal up as well um, at the same time, so let's just go ahead and do that. Again, that, that was probably a waste of the of the healing ointment, but you know, again, I go back to what you have on hand, and if you can afford to do it, then you go ahead and do it. So again, it is what it is. Um, did I? I've gone through here. Okay, cool. So I'm coming back to where I was. And uh, let's whisk our way around. Come down this way. And out we go. So this is the main floor. I think I should be going up this way. I don't think I've opened up this fella. So let's go ahead and do just that. Alright. And what did we get in here? What rewards await us? Some repair kits. I'll grab the logs. Grab that. Getting... There's an amount of pants for these as well. So I'm guessing for a lot of people you might be interested in some of the tier 4 resources that are dropping in the, within the spirit cave here. Actually, I should be going to the left. So let's go to the left. Let's take our ghostly friend out. There we go. Um, I, I would imagine this probably would have been more of a viable place to come in, especially if you were uh, wanting to find some tier 4 resources and because they were so far in between and so um, scarce at the time before uh, the update dropped I think a lot of people would have the incentive to come down here so now that the new update is out what is the incentive to come down this way so this is what I was really wanting to find out from you guys as well as sort of going through this as a bit of a playthrough and you know discussing things like combinations of coming in and seeing what would be the best way of um, you know, taking on the spirit cave in itself. One more time, there we go, didn't drop anything which was a bit of a bummer, but that's okay. Um, okay, so let's just grab what's in here, and I think after this would be the main boss towards the end. I think we have to go through a couple more rooms if I'm not mistaken. Um, grab that and that. Um, Alright, why not? Let's just grab a second one. So I've got two of each. And let's see what is in here. Okay, nothing interesting, nothing interesting. Okay, so let's uh, duck out and we'll um, quickly move over to the final part of this spirit cave run. But as you can imagine, if I was opening, opening every single chest, I wouldn't be where I am right now within the video so yeah so you can imagine how much how time consuming just opening up uh, chests and things like that can take as well and I'm sure you guys know that by now as well but again like I said because I really want to you know show as much content as possible and always try and keep it as entertaining as possible as well 
Um, it's just something that I feel like I should be doing, um, you know, off camera particularly, and just opening up the main chest. I think that might be the best way of doing it. Again, you know, if you feel like I should be opening up every single chest, then you guys let me know. Um, but I feel I'm doing the way that I feel like I should be doing it, so that's the reason. Um, Alright, so we're going to make some quick decisions here. Because, uh, do I want to get rid of some of these things? If anything, I'll probably get rid of that. For now, of course. And then I might, again, as I said, it's a few days before this reset, so I may as well come back here in my own time and grab a few things here and there. Um, Alright, so he's hungry, so let's just grab a few of that. Um, grab that. Make up the stack of that, and grab some of that. So we're getting um, quite a bit of repair kits, which is really good. So do not mind that. Um, got some more steel, got some more T4 resources. Let's go ahead and use up all of this. Um, I'm already fully healed. Again, I'll probably just end up leaving that, but I'll swap that for that, because that's fully... Yeah, that's full, that's full. Pretty cool. And uh, let's go ahead and grab this fella here. Okay, and I think that's pretty much it. Again, these are just all the little baby ones. I'm not going to worry about them. And we are completed. So that's pretty much going to go ahead and leave it here today. I figured I might do a run like this just to see how you guys would, uh, would see how I sort of attack it from a different perspective without using overpowered weapons. Again, I probably, in my opinion, would have had overpowered um, clothing. And I think the Remington for Spirit Cave standard uh, normal mode is pretty much overpowered as it is. It's not much of a challenge. You know, if, if, I, if I was honest, I probably would be just using the Remington for the final boss. And I might use something like the dueling pistol as as your general purpose, as your, as your standard for, for everything, mini bosses included. So, yeah. Or maybe just a Remington only for mini bosses and bosses and everyone else just for the dueling pistol and some low cl uh, quality web, uh, clothing. I think that might be a good way of doing it. But again, let me know in the comments down below. I'll be interested to hear your thoughts, but I'm going to go ahead and leave it here for today. So appreciate you guys stopping by, checking out the video as always. Be sure to like the video, comment down below, and if you can, possibly share the video out to your friends and all that sort of good stuff, just to get the video out there, reach new um, uh, new people as well, coming into the channel, see my videos as well, because they might find it interesting. And that's what I really want. I really want to make sure that you guys are interested in these videos, but anyone else that might be interested, please direct them my way. And most importantly, if you guys are new to the channel, consider subscribing and hitting the notification bell icon so you don't miss out on any future videos. Anyway, that's it. I'm going to leave it here. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.